Good morning, everybody. Mr. Wozik here with Alana with your Monday morning message. We decided to change it up a little bit. We know we used to do something called live on day five. Um, we don't do it live anymore. This is recorded ahead of time. So we thought it'd be a good idea to maybe change it up a little bit and send it Monday morning to kind of start the week off on a positive note. How's that sound? Good. With that being said, it is a day number two, and we are going to start with the pledge for you. So please stand and join us for the pledge. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United, of the United States, States of America, America and, to and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. Alana, how are you doing this morning? Good. I'm very glad to hear that I'm doing well. Hopefully you had a good weekend. I did. All right, fantastic. We do have a new PBIS focus for the week. So um, we were just talking before we started recording here about our focus and our focus this week is about being an active listener and my question was what does it mean to be an active listener and you had some really good ideas so what does that mean to be an active listener can you tell to, to actually like look at the person and and so if someone like asked you what did the person say you could at least like say a few things okay so like, right now when you were talking I was I was looking at you something like that Okay, wonderful. I think it's also important to take turns speaking. So, for example, if you're talking, I'm not just going to be listening, but I won't be talking, and vice versa, right? So I think it's important to have that eye contact as well. So that's our goal for this week. Our focus for this week is being an active listener. And, again, when we have a PBIS focus, it's not just with adults, but it's with everybody. Okay, so it's not just, you know, listening to your teacher talks. It is that, but also when um, our classmates and other students in the building are doing the same thing, right? All right, fantastic. Thinking about that PBIS, we do have our first celebration for the year this Friday, which I am very excited about. Did you know about this? No. No? It's still kind of a surprise to you? Yes. Oh, well, fantastic. Well, we do have our first celebration this Friday, like I said, and we have some surprises um, involved in that. I'm really looking forward to it, and I'll give you a clue. It's a celebration that we've had before, but we're doing it again. Do you have a guess? Nope. you got to think about it. Okay? No, not right now. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Um, with that being said, one of the last things that we do like to always share is the books that we're reading. Mm -hmm. Would you like to go first? Um, yes. Okay. Um, I'm reading a book called Just Jamie. Um, you want to tell us a little bit about the book? Maybe uh, if people were interested in this or why yes. would they be interested? Yeah, so it's about a girl named Jamie. And so she feels like um, those. she's like questioning her group of friends like because she's not sure if like that are like her real friends mm. but because her her friend that she's known for a really long time is kind of like changing her attitude oh, okay if i look at the cover i see there's a girl and then there's three girls in the background that are kind of mm -hmm. huddle up talking about her so i, I think um, i'm guessing jamie is the girl on the outside yes okay are you enjoying this book yes well, so fantastic. far well let me know how it is when you finish okay yeah. Um, I'm reading a book. Now, the book that I'm reading I'm going to share is actually a professional book. So it's not a book that you're going to see on the bookshelves in the hallway or anything like that. But I think it's a message that we all share. And it's a book called The Power of Words. And it, it talks about just using positive language with each other. And it's written, as I said, more for educators. But I think it's a message that all of us um, in the building, staff, and students can learn something from using positive words and I know that was a PBIS focus that we had last week as well so using positive kind words to each other and just the good impact that it has on everybody around mm -hmm. right. well with that being said um, Alana any last messages for everybody before we leave don't just have a good day but make it a great day I could not have said it better and everybody thank you very much for joining Alana and myself for our first Monday morning message